I'm Nora McInerney. I am a writer. I'm an author. I'm a podcaster. I'm a, I'm a woman on the go. And by on the go, I mean, I'm sitting at this desk and I'm not leaving until I do my work. Every once in a while, I open up the Instagram question box and I say, ask me a question. And then people ask me questions. And this is one of those questions that I got. The questions I get whenever I open up the question box on Instagram, they run the gamut. Mostly it's like, what is that lipstick? Then it'll be like, oh, uh, tell me about like your deepest trauma, because you know what? We contain multitudes. So I got a question saying, are you ever freaked out by your own mortality or the mortality of the people you love? And my knee jerk reaction was no, no, I'm, I'm just not. I'm just not. I used to be. I was a kid who laid in bed at night, like just rehearsing my parents' funerals, you know, just like imagining like the death of everybody I loved. One of my main, I can't see my own self in a mirror. There's a mirror right here. I don't know which way my hand is going. It doesn't make any sense to me right now. Also, people praise, people praise the powers of the Dyson Airwrap and I have one and I paid probably $500 for it or something insane. I don't see people giving credit to the like 2012 Con Air curling iron that has no numbers on it anymore. I don't know how hot or cool it is. You can turn it off. It's not going to turn off. The light just stays. If it's plugged in, the light stays on. That's it. But also, I don't even know if that's the off button. Maybe this is the off button. Nope. Light is still on. Anyways, we just, every time I use this, I roll the dice. Will my hair catch on fire or will my home? Who knows? So no, I'm not freaked out by my own, own mortality. I'm not freaked out by the mortality of the people in my life. I'm actually kind of comforted by our mortality. I was with my husband, Aaron, when he took his last breath. It was the most spiritual moment of my entire life. It, it all made sense. In that brief, brief moment, everything made sense. I swear to God, a keyhole, a portal to the meaning of life opened and I got it. I fully understood it. That portal has not stayed open. I routinely return to just abject pettiness, just the human condition, but it was there. It was rare and I'll remember it all too well for the rest of my life. I don't freak out about my own mortality anymore. I used to be really afraid of dying and then I saw death and I'm not afraid of it. I think it is a beautiful transition. I don't think it's the end. I think it is a new beginning. I don't think it's as good as having the people we love with us and alive, but also how can I say that? I haven't died yet. I actually don't know what I'm talking about. But once I saw death, I was no longer afraid of it. I'm not afraid of my own death. I'm possibly, my fear is that I'm just not living well enough. I'm not doing a good enough job. Someday I'll be dead and none of it will matter. And I don't even mean that in a nihilistic way. I find so much comfort. I find so much hope in that. The things that we think are so deeply important are really not. All that's left when we are gone is love. That is it. That's all that's left. Not our anxieties, not our worries, not even our accomplishments. There's just the feeling, the love that we put out there, that is what lives forever. Now, am I freaked out about the mortality of the people in my life? By and large, no. By and large, no. Um, I'm not. Then something will happen and I will be at a you know children's hospital uh, with one of my kids thinking, if they don't survive this, neither will I. Neither will I. I can live without a lot of things, but not without, not without my kids. And yet I know that I am saying that as a person who has not yet and hopefully will not experience the loss of a child. I've experienced the loss of a pregnancy, not of a child, you know? So I wanna say no, and I think mostly the answer is no. But I also think it's normal to be afraid. I think it's normal to be afraid of the unknown. But what could be more scary to us than death, than not knowing what comes next? We are people and people like the predictable. People like to know what's going to happen next. I'm describing you. I'm also describing myself. I can barely stand any sort of tension. I watched Dexter for the first time when the show had been off the air for like four years and I was white knuckling my way through season one. And my husband said, there's more seasons. Do you think you're not going to get out of this pickle? And I was like, I don't know. I don't know. I can't stand tension in, in fictional life. How do we get up every day not knowing what is going to happen next or what happens when this is over? I don't know. We try to stay in the moment as, as much as possible. We try to just put one foot in front of the other. So am I freaked out about my own mortality? No. 
Am I freaked out about the mortality of people around me? Honestly, usually not. With an asterisk, sometimes things change. Sometimes I'm having a weird day and I will have a crazy intrusive thought, like a horrible intrusive thought. I'll have to pull my car over and be like, oh my God, why did I imagine that? And how can I delete that from my brain so I never have to think of it again? I don't really worry about my current husband dying because I don't know, there are people who have lost two husbands. One of them just crossed my path on TikTok or I think her handle is like twice widowed or something like that's supremely bad luck. That's pretty unusual luck. That's pretty unusual luck. And when and if Matthew does die, that's something for future me. And all that current me can do is appreciate the time that I have right now, the time that I have with him, the time that I have here with everybody else. Like worrying is a form of trying to grasp onto control, trying to control a situation that is inherently uncontrollable. And I try my hardest to remember that. I don't always, but I try, try, try really hard to remember that. The thing is, we're all going to die some sooner than others. We have no idea when it's going to happen. And that can do one of two things. Honestly, it can do a lot of things, but we love a binary, don't we? It can do one of two things. It can freak you out so badly that you want to just bubble wrap yourself and everybody around you and just stay inside. I don't blame you. Or it can kind of free you, right? Someday we'll be dead. Someday we'll be dead. Who cares? Go do what you want. Love what you love. Love who you love. Do the best you can with what you have right now and just keep going. What I learned from all of my worry, what I learned from worrying about the worst case scenario is like mostly the worst case scenario doesn't come true. But what worrying does is just pull me out of the present. So I can worry about my kids dying or I can enjoy the life that we have right now while we have it. I don't know if that was helpful at all. But thank you for asking.